Hello and welcome to another Java tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to continue our discussion on modified Bessel functions. And we have already looked at the modified Bessel function of the first kind and how to evaluate it numerically very efficiently for both real and complex numbers. So in this lecture, I'm going to look at the modified Bessel function of the second kind. And again, it's one of the solutions to the modified Bessel ordinary differential equation. And to uh, refresh your memory, the modified Bessel ordinary differential equation is x squared y prime plus x y x squared y double prime plus x y prime minus x squared plus nu squared y is equal to zero. So the Bessel function, we had plus and minus. For the modified Bessel function, we have minus and plus, all right? So for the modified Bessel function of the second kind, uh, we can implement it directly based on the integration. It's from zero to infinity, e to the minus x, cosh of t, cosh of nu t dt. So it's like an even function with respect to nu. It has even parity. But then it, this integral definition is only works for complex numbers or real numbers or complex where the real part of the complex number is positive because we have to ensure that this exponential converges at infinity, right? Goes to zero. Otherwise, we are guaranteed to get a divergence in the integration from zero to infinity. And again, this implementation is very straightforward. Your integral function is t goes to, and this is a lambda expression, t goes to x of minus x, cosh of t times cosh of nu t or nt when n is an integer. And then uh, uh, we set the integral function uh, to this uh, uh, function, and then we integrate from 0 to 100. Obviously, we cannot go infinity, so we set it to 100, assuming that its exponential decays relatively fast and with some number of sub-intervals, let's say 300. And uh, again, we can calculate, uh, create our modified Bessel function object that uh, has all the methods, i, nu, and k, nu. And we can uh, basically uh, plot Bessel k, n, 0, 1, 2, 3, and we can just plot them. And as you can see, k nu or k n, k0, k1, k2, k3, they all exhibit a behavior which is an exponential decay. And after about x greater than 5, it really becomes 0 and becomes so small that uh, uh, it's very negligible, all right? Uh, so, uh, so let's head to Eclipse and try to have a look at the implementation. So here's my modified Bessel function integration. And the reason I call it integration because I have the modified Bessel function for the implementation based on power series. So this modified Bessel function integration means it's an in implementation based on the integration. So as you can see, I have kn, uh, cosh of nt, and I'm directly integrating, right? And if it's, a, if it's like k nu, when uh, nu or alpha is a double number, it's not integer. I mean, the implementation is more or less the same, right? So let's try to uh, basically create a test class. Let's call this test k nu. Uh, do I already have it? Yes, I do. So let's see, in test one, this is exactly what we saw in the PowerPoint. I'm plotting from 1 to 20. And let's just run this quickly. And note that these are non-integers. So let's switch them back to integer. 0, 1, 2, and 3. And uh, we go from 1 to 10, for example. And it's still pretty fast. And uh, let me just... Uh, increase the font size and as we can see that after basically uh, x greater than 10 we can assume that uh, the k nu is pretty much zero right but uh, we can also export this to uh, python and uh, compare it with the implementations in python and look at the accuracy in this way so i'm going to export to a text file open it up here 
copy all the values go back to our Jupyter notebook paste them here it automatically puts them in a nice way so x0 y0 is k0 x y y1 is k1 etc and then we have plt plot x0 y0 and label let's say java all right so this is a k0 and then plt plot x0 and we're using the scipy dot special right I'm giving it an alias name of SP so special dot k nu and zero and x zero and label uh, Python and we probably want to set the color to red and then line style to dash and then we also want to turn the legend on plt legend all right plt Right, as you can see, we get a very good uh, match. We can go Y1, which is K1. Again, pretty good. And Y2, K2. Y3, K3. And etc. All right. And. Uh, but here I'm using the modified Bessel function so I can change this to so with the power series implementation it takes 55 milliseconds which is very vast and I can change this to the integration implementation so modified Bessel function integration and of course we have to change these to n all right so let's see how long it takes yeah it takes a long time five seconds to calculate with good accuracy now obviously i can reduce the order of integration in kn right this order but it reduces the accuracy and uh, in general uh, numerical integration is not the efficient way to implement the Bessel functions or modified Bessel function so here back to our slides this is how I implemented the KNU the modified Bessel function of the second kind so we already implemented I knew in a very efficient way and KNU by definition is just uh, pi over 2 i minus nu minus i nu divided by sine of nu pi and when nu approaches integer numbers we take the limit of this right so here's the case when nu is not an integer right when the nu minus int of nu is greater than some threshold 0 0.01 i just calculate pi over 2 i nu of minus nu and x minus i nu of nu and x divided by sine of pi nu obviously we get the heat of twice calculating the i nu but it's still very efficient because evaluation of the i nu is very fast and then when uh, nu approaches integer i set the epsilon the threshold is 0 0.01 right and then i calculate at nu minus epsilon i don't I, so i'm not quite at the integer number i calculate with some threshold error which is very small so it gives us still very uh, accurate result so pi over 2 i nu minus and here nu is basically an integer n minus epsilon and x minus i nu of n minus epsilon and x over sine of pi n minus epsilon right but then for large x uh, this implementation gives some error because of the implementation of the i nu so we can just simply use a uh, asymptotic expression which you can just google it and find it it's very easy and in general uh, k nu becomes uh, asymptotic to 0.5 of pi or pi over 2 over x with the square root e to the minus x so it's obvious that it's exponentially decaying but there are some other terms and these terms can be easily evaluated and uh, it also works for and these two it definitions work for both uh, real numbers and uh, complex numbers that's why i have the return type complex but also have methods that return the double numbers right and everything is exactly the same the square root becomes the the complex square root exponential becomes complex exponential and everything else is the same right 
okay but and here's I'm pl here I'm plotting the uh, K nu of uh, 0.3 so nu is 0.3 and I'm calculating the complex numbers x minus jx and I'm sweeping the x so both real and imaginary parts are changing and here I'm plotting the real part and imaginary parts right and as you can see when x crosses 0 we get a sharp change in the behavior some discontinuity all right so uh, let's head to Eclipse and look at the implementation so in the modified Bessel function I have k nu a small argument and again when nu is non-integer and x is negative k nu becomes a complex number and a small argument implementation is based on the i nu right the modified Bessel function uh, similar for the complex numbers but for the complex numbers we don't have this uh, warning because it becomes complex no problem we can return a complex number and for large argument and ag again if uh, nu is non-integer and x is negative k nu becomes complex so we cannot return a double here but for a large argument of type complex there is no problem we can directly calculate it but then we have to be careful with the square root of a complex number because we have to because a square root has a branch cut so we have to be careful with the phase and here you see that I, I'm saying that if it's in the first quadrant or in the second quadrant i.e. the imaginary part is positive real part is either positive or negative i.e. we are in the upper half plane of the complex number that's one so a square root has a branch card on the negative part of the real axis so upper half plane and lower half plane they have separate behavior and there is a change of sign so in these two cases in the upper half plane I'm returning a negative in the uh, in the lower half plane I am returning a positive right and using that uh, basically uh, we can do the calculations so I have uh, in the test modified Bessel function for example here in test 3 I'm plotting the k nu of uh, and nu here is uh, 0.3 so nu here is 0.3 and then the complex numbers are minus jx plus 1 or 1 minus jx and I'm sweeping x all right so x goes from minus 5 to 5 1000 and then I'm calculating the uh, 1 minus jx and then I'm plotting it let's re rename this to k nu let's see 59 milliseconds still pretty fast and the real part and imaginary part seem to have some sort of oscillatory behavior so we can export it to Python and go and compare the accuracy with the uh, SciPy implementation copy go to our Jupyter notebook and then paste everything here and then uh, x0 y0 is k nu of 0.3 and then we have uh, minus 1j times x0 plus 1 but because x0 is list and the operators are not overloaded for lists I can convert it to a numpy array and then this returns a complex number so np real right y0 is the real part so we plot the real part and we get an exact match and if I plot y1 it becomes the imaginary part we get an exact match all right so this is how we implement the modified Bessel functions of the first kind basically I knew and then modified Bessel functions of the second kind we use this uh, asymptotic to get a much better accuracy when uh, x becomes large and k nu becomes very small this is an exponential decay so I hope you enjoyed this lecture please stay tuned and I'll see you in the next one